Hey folks, I've just added instancing to Kebbel and I wanted to update you very briefly. So one of the things we were doing before is uh, I showed you this little demo on the left and this is drawing 30 triangles. And in this example, we're doing it in a really naive way. We're actually looping over uh, 30 times and calling the pipeline on every iteration. You can see here we're also passing up I as kind of this instance ID um, into the vertex shader, which then used it for calculating these offsets. Now, this is a really wasteful way of doing things because we're drawing the same thing 30 times and GL provides a feature for this called instancing, which makes this crazy fast. So if I switch over to our new version, you can see the code's practically the same. What I've done here is I've switched out the loop for with instances. And then up here, rather than taking I as a uniform, I'm just saying use the GL instance ID. That's a GL reserve variable. And the advantage of this is now we're making one draw call, so it's really efficient to add more. There's 300, there's 1,000, and while this might be suffering a little from the because of the recording software putting a bit of a penalty on, the frame rate per second is not affected at all. This is fantastic, and obviously this works with 3D objects with all the textures on and that kind of stuff. So this is a really handy feature. Um, one little caveat with instances is a convenience macro. It's a bit of syntactic sugar. It's not the most efficient way of implementing this. For that reason, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to allow in your pipeline for you to specify a, um, a parameter, which is actually an instance count. And that will do some extra magic to make sure that the drawing is as fast as possible. Brilliant. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.